ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of Eflexonics. Now today, I want to talk directly to business owners. What they go through when they set up a budget for their business, what their cell phone technology is going to be like, and all this kind of stuff. Because really, the cell phone now is not a cell phone anymore. It's a, it's a mobile computer. A couple of months ago, our contracts for our cell phones were up, and we decided we were tossing around the idea, should we get iPhones? I was all ready to get iPhones. Or should we get Android? And we walk up to the counter and I said, ooh, that's a, that's a beautiful phone. And I'd done some research on the Motorola Atrix, the uh, super phone from Android. And when I compared the prices, <laughs> we got just a screaming deal. We got the phones for free on a three-year contract. Now, if we had have gone with iPhone just about three weeks previous to us walking into that store, one iPhone was... $249. So if we were going to get them three weeks before that, it was going to be $500 to get into two iPhones even before we started paying for the telephone and the data plan. Well, that's a, that's a chunk of change when you're watching your money. So we walked in there and, and they had a sale on. Wow, they dropped their price. And they thought it was a big deal. Now they're $199 a piece. Okay, so we're in for $400. So when I compared that to the free phone that you can get from with Android, and when I compared all the features and benefits, they were very, very close. But what put me over the top was this. Open platform. You can put a battery in, in the, uh, the Atrix. You can upgrade the memory. And there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do as well that, that just just put us over the top and got us into the Motorola Atrix and are we ever glad we did but what I want to do today is I want to show you a couple of apps that are really really important and powerful for business owners so if it, or, and I'll paint you an example of that say a business owner goes in to their cell phone, phone provider and they want a new phone and they walk out with an Android device because let's face it they just could not afford the Apple device and uh, they think, wow, I just got a telephone. I can talk and on it and I can turn it on and off. But there's so much more to the Android devices. Um, not long ago, I did a blog with a friend of mine, Arlene, and she has an Android device. And she says, well, all I do is turn it on and off and I have no idea, no idea whatsoever on how to properly use the phone. And I said, I'm going to go home and I'm going to blog about it and I'm going to put a video together for you and I'll share it with, with the rest of the world. Because there, do you know that there's over 550,000, over half a million a day Android devices just like this being activated every single day? Over a half a million. That's a lot of Android devices. And people don't realize the full potential of these particular devices. Now, a couple of days ago, I did a podcast on how to turn on the free wireless antenna on your Android device so you can access the the uh, the marketplace Android marketplace and and download widgets and and calendar and check your email and all that good stuff through your Android device wherever there happens to be free Wi-Fi and let's face it nowadays free Wi-Fi is everywhere have you ever been to a McDonald's lately they've got free Wi-Fi how about Starbucks they've got free Wi-Fi how about if we're living in the Fraser Valley how about ABC restaurants they've got free Wi-Fi and even the Dutch Pannekoek house which is one of my favorite places for breakfast they've got free Wi-Fi you would not believe the amount of businesses that are offering free Wi-Fi to entice their customers to come on in and and eat breakfast and eat a meal and have a drink and have a great time and visit with people. And that's my phone letting me know that I've got an email. <laughs> but today I want to show you a couple of apps that I think are very, very important and they're all free. My promise to you is this. I will show you nothing but free apps because I don't believe in paying for something when there's a free version available. And if you really fall in love with the free version, you can go to the pro version if you want. But most of these apps are free for a reason. They're, they're just, they're incredibly well written. They do a beautiful job and they're on Android. See, that's the difference. Android is open platform. So I think they're more, they're more used to giving away things for free. So let me open up my browser here and I will show you. Okay, so let's Google it. Uh, and we'll go Android Market. 
There we go. Apps for the Android market. Okay, so I'm going to do a search here because I'm, I've got a program called Wi-Finder on my phone. And it is just incredible. And I will read what it says and what it does. It's for, absolutely free. Absolutely free. So, here we go. And the reviews are really, really helpful. Whenever I look at an app, I like to read the reviews. Nice and functional Wi-Fi scanner. Nice look Wi-Fi scanner allows you to connect to all Wi-Fi networks. Open, WEP, WPA, WPA2. See, let's, let's break it down. It, there's nothing complicated about this. Once you learn how to turn on your, free, your Wi-Fi on your phone, you can go to anywhere that they're offering free Wi-Fi, download Wi-Finder, click on Wi-Finder, and it will automatically go and search out the available broadcast SSIDs wherever you happen to be, and then you can just click on it, and boom, you're on, you're on Wi-Fi. Now, some people think, well, what if I press the wrong button, uh, and uh, I don't have a data plan? If I press the wrong button, am I going to get charged? No, it's impossible. You don't have a data plan, so it just won't work. But if you're using Wi-Fi, Wi-Finder, it will lock in to that free Wi-Fi signal, and you can use it for absolutely nothing. So, Let's take a look here. Let's look at this. Now, it, see, you want to take a look at the, at the, um, the readings, the average rating, 4.4 out of 5. 7,485 people have downloaded this app, and they absolutely love it. Okay, the second one down. Uh, this is easy to use app, and it looks pretty, but it can't even detect when the phone's built-in Wi-Fi picks up. Perhaps it's not the app's fault. So it's working perfectly on my phone. The one below that, it says, it's good and fast, but sometimes fail to connect. I've never had that problem. So if you go to, um, if you go to user reviews, click on there. Now you can see a whole bunch of reviews. Exactly what a Wi-Fi tool should be. Small, very fast, and recognizes encryption. That was September 19th, 2010. Uh, again, down below, I love this app. It's very easy to view all of the available networks. I've never had a bit of trouble, and my wife and I use this wherever we go. Because if we're using our data, you're just eating into your money. I've got a one gig a month data cap. It's not a lot, but I use free Wi-Fi every single time I can. So it says, what's new? So if there's anything new the developer has put in there, he will let you know. So my, my um, recommendation for a Wi-Finder is Wi-Finder. <laughs> it's uh, absolutely free. Let's move on to the, ne to the next step. So this is when you've got your Wi-Fi turned on, and you're out and about at a restaurant, and you want to find out if there's uh, Wi-Fi available. Just click on Wi-Finder, and then use their free Wi-Fi access. The next app that I wanted to share with you is called Evernote. And if you're a business owner, if you haven't heard of this, you're going to be delighted by this one. Four and a half stars. So let me read what Evernote does. It is incredible. Evernote is an easy-to-use free app that helps you remember everything across all of your devices you use. It, it syncs with all of your computers. Stay organized, save your ideas, and improve productivity. Evernote lets you take notes, capture photos, create to-do lists, record voice reminders, and makes these notes completely searchable, whether you're at home, at work, or on the go. This is probably one of the best organizational tools I have ever seen for business people. So take a look at that. And there's even a... Um, there's even a little video that you can play for Evernote. Now, this one got a 4.6 average rating. 141,257 people have used Evernote. Um, time and time and time and time and time again, I have heard this app is the best that they have found. Look at this. Uh, look at the first, uh, the, the, the first rating here. Great app. Free accounts with great upgradable benefits. I use this for keeping... Uh, uh, files from being safe and from being deleted. This app has just overwhelmed the App Store. It's, it's probably the... Uh, I tell you what. Download it for free. 
Try it for a week. If you don't love it, there's something wrong. Because you also want to download it on your computers at home. And there's a sync button. And when you start playing with these apps, the Evernote app, it, it, it's so powerful. I, to be honest with you, I don't know how they're affording to give it away for free. That's how, that's how much there is to it. And that's how powerful it is. Okay, so we've done two apps today from the Android market. And by the way, I believe the Evernote is uh, also for the iPhone. Uh, so next time we will do a couple of more business apps but I thought these were really important just to get you started playing at the uh, Android marketplace all right thanks so much folks for joining us on eFlexonics and we'll see you next show bye bye take care